Welcome back to Let's Play King's Quest 1. I am still drinking Kendall Jackson Chardonnay. I guess you can tell how long my uh, sessions last based on what I'm drinking. <laughs> but that's okay. Alright, so the last time we left off, we just gave some cheese to a mouse. A rat. Sorry. And, uh, and he disappeared. Magically. Some rat. This place is full of magic. So let's uh, open this door and see what's beyond, shall we? Oh god. They look dangerous. You are in an antechamber of the Hall of the Leprechaun King. How do you know that? Okay. Um, so, there are leprechauns in the room with you. Can we talk to them? Leprechaun? How do you spell con? Leprechaun? Leprechaun. I think. Damn it. Hold on. Oh no! Now what are you going to do? Leprechaun. Leprechaun. Did I not spell it like that? How did I spell it? Maybe I can just say talk. Talking to yourself is a sure sign that the hot Daventry sun is taking its toll on you. <laughs> okay. I'm not talking to myself. There are people here. Leprechauns. Alright, well anyway. Leprechauns. So, what do leprechauns like? Well, they like four-leaf clovers. As you can see, there's a four-leaf clover statue right there in the middle of this room. But what else might they like? Maybe a little bit of fiddle playing? Oh, yeah. They get down with it. Wonderful job. The leprechauns find fiddle music irresistible. The moment they hear the music, they begin dancing a frenzied jig. Finally, swept away by the snappy music, the leprechaun guards poof, poof, right out of the room. And he just keeps playing because, man, he must like his own music. And it is. It is very snappy. Look, uh, can we look at the statue? Carved into the top of the stone pillar is a huge four-leaf clover. Apparently the leprechauns who inhabited this underground sanctuary greatly fear and respect the power of the four-leaf clover. Well, we have one. But we don't seem to ever need it. Not if you have the fiddle and you play the fiddle music. I do believe that they leave you alone if you have the four-leaf clover anyway. But you get more points doing it this way. Overhearing the fiddle music you played in the hallway, the leprechauns have begun to dance. As they do, they pop away in a fit of merrymaking. Where do they go, I wonder? The fairy realm. Oh, he doesn't pop away. He dances away. <laughs> Bye, king of the leprechauns. But look, what has he left behind? This awesome rug. This luxurious carpet is the product of the leprechaun's magical weaving talents. Well, we want to get that. Please don't move the carpet. It hides the dandelion wine stains on the floor. <laughs> I'm sorry. How do you stain stone? Alright, it looks like he left something here. Look, throne? This is a rather simple stone throne. Upon it sits a leprechaun king's jeweled scepter. Get scepter. Eh. You take the leprechaun king's jeweled scepter. And then, what is this? Maybe we can just look in general. This is the throne room of the Leprechaun King. There's a shield near the throne. A shield. This must be it. Wait, let's look at it first. The shield is made of titanium and is rimmed with jewels. Sheffield. You take the magic shield. Congratulations. And the last fanfare. We did it, everybody. We got all three of the royal treasures. We beat the game! 
So I guess now we go back to see the king. So we're here. Since we can't go back the way we came anyway, we might as well look. This is a small cave with a path on one side and a very small hole on the other side. A small hole leads to the outside world. Alright. Uh, can we climb in it? Uh, climb through hole? There's nothing up there you need. I don't... Uh, Crawl. Please try something else. Enter hole. You're much too big to fit through that small hole. Alright, so if you remember when we ate the mushroom, we shrunk. So that's what we need to do here. So if you went through that hole in the floor without getting the mushroom first, you wouldn't be able to beat the game. If you like saved, you'd have to like start the game all over again. It's one of the terrible things that Sierra does sometimes in these games. Overall, I love these games, but that's stuff like that. And they pull it a lot in the earlier games. It takes them a while to realize that people really don't like it when you do that. Alright, so let's eat the mushroom. And leave. You can actually control yourselves now. Oh, and hey, we come out here. Congratulations, you now have all three Daventry's lost treasures. Now don't waste any time. Bring the treasure straight back to King Edward before it's too late. Wow, stressful music. What? Why is it all stressful all of a sudden? Oh, sugar. Are we not going to encounter any bad guys because we have these treasures now? I don't know the way back. We're just gonna search around. I don't think... Any bad guys show up there? Is that true? That would be nice. Alright, so... I think I know where we are now. Yes, here we are. We're walking slowly. I don't know if it's because there's so much animation going on on the screen or it's for dramatic effects. Where are the guards? You are standing outside King Edward's castle, which is surrounded by a serpent filled moat. Okay, open gate. That's odd. Why are the guards not at their posts? I don't know. More curious still, the courtyard is deserted. This area is usually filled with the ladies and lords of the castle. Ladies and lords, how can you have ladies and lords if there are only peasants? This is highly unusual. You begin to feel deeply disturbed as if all is not right within the castle. You can finally hear a commotion in the king's chamber to the west. Hey, people. There's nothing that can be done. Our king's melancholy is too great for his heart to bear. Perhaps if Sir Graham has returned with the three lost treasures, treasures of Daventry. Dot dot dot. <gasps> it's Sir Graham! He's returned! Did he find the treasures? Shh! Listen! Your Highness, I am at your service. Did. Did you succeed in your quest? I did, your majesty. Here, as you commanded, dot dot dot. The magic mirror. The magic shield. And the magic chest. Oh! I... I'm afraid it's a little too late for me, but you have done superbly, my knight. As I promised, the kingdom is yours. I know you will serve her well. The 
The king is dead. Long live the king! Long live the king! And thus ended Sir Graham's great quest for the lost treasures of Daventry. Despite the loss of their beloved King Edward, the people of Daventry grew happy and prosperous and flourished for years to come. And whenever King Graham looked into his magic mirror, he saw visions of adventures yet to come for him, for his children, for Daventry, and the land he loved so much. Oh, the land he loved so much. The end. And roll credits. Excellent. Lovely game. Terrible game. I love it. <laughs> this game, I never beat it when I was a kid. It took me, well, it took me reading up how to do it, basically. There's practically no way that you can beat this game without uh, incredible trial and error. You'd have to restart this game quite a bit, which as a kid, you know, wouldn't go very well. You'd realize that there's nothing you could do if you looked it up, like saw the mushroom, you needed to have the mushroom, and then like you didn't have a previous save to go by. You don't have that safe mentality when you're a kid, and, and then you would just stop playing. And that's exactly what happened to me and my siblings. Like, we would just stop playing some of these games sometimes. But I always went back to it as, you know, an adult, because I just loved these games so much. I don't know what it was. It's just something about the point-click adventure game, the music, the old, tiny graphics. It's just an old, ancient love for me. Um, so I always went back, and I eventually did learn how to beat it myself. And, uh, it's just a classic. Like, these quest games are just beautiful timepieces that have captured a lot of people's hearts. And, um, they're seeing remakes now, which is wonderful. I'm so glad to see that when the internet came out and people, uh, shared their loves for these old games. And I'm so happy to find that I'm not alone, that there's just so many people who absolutely love them and love watching other people play them. Including myself, I watch lots of people play these games and I finally decided, hey, I'll do it myself, why not? Let's have some fun and see if anybody else enjoys it also. And I hope you do. Thank you so much for joining me and for watching me play this game. This is my very first Let's Play. I really hope that you had a good time. I had a great time. So let me know if you liked it, you know, subscribe, like, all that YouTuber stuff or whatever. Or don't. I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> Comment. Um, let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you liked me telling you what I was drinking. Um, if not, I will stop that eventually. If nobody seems to like it. Uh, but I like it. I'm still drinking that Chardonnay. It's good. <laughs> so anyway, join me perhaps in the next game. I might just go sequentially. I did not like King's Quest 2 very much, so we'll see if I actually play that one. Maybe. I might just jump to King's Quest 3 because that one was the better one. But anyway, once again, thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time, everybody. Bye!